The economy, the real economy, not the fake economy. Everything they touch turns to what? You shouldn't use that kind of language. Look, look, you can't use the word okay. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, guys. You already know it. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man, I'm talking about the last four years, the last maybe eight years, they've been talking about how Trump is is washed up. He's, uh, he don't have it anymore. He's, um... You know, he's a bad guy and all this. They've been talking about for the last four years. They tried everything. They tie him up in court. They got Letitia James after him. They got uh Big Booty Fanny trying to come after him. Fat ass Alvin Bragg is coming after him. 91 <laughs> counts. And we see it's all falling apart. I'm talking about everybody's trying to see it. Even this guy here. And Trump's more ahead than he's ever been. More, fewer people think January 6th was a, any kind of what it was, is a, an assault on the temple of democracy, the Constitution. I don't know what else you want to say. It's going the wrong way. It's not working. Everything that we're throwing is spaghetti at a wall, and none of it is sticking, me included. And it's, it's hard when you start in your 80th year. And you, you, you know, like anybody else, I have an opinion of myself. And the opinion I've come to is, I don't matter. It doesn't matter. You can, you can prepare, you, you can be on TV, or you can write pieces, you can have a YouTube channel, you can have a podcast, and nothing, nothing. And, you know, we we got to, like, try to think of something different it, because what we're doing is really really not working yeah jimmy carville the raging cajun he says man we tried everything we threw everything at him threw it to the wall like spaghetti and none of it none of it's sticking none of it's sticking and all he's doing he's getting bigger and bigger y'all keep feeding him feeding him and he's getting bigger and stronger Thank you. Now he's out here in New Jersey trying to make a play for New Jersey. And he had one of the biggest rallies yet. All right. Now, to all you naysayers out there, to all you folks who say it's all stage, when you went to Chick-fil-A, it was stage. The construction workers, it was stage. He goes to F1 in Miami. Y'all say it was stage. What about this? He goes to New Jersey, one of the bluest state out here, and he packed in over a hundred thousand folks. Look at the size of this crowd here. And look at this crowd here, folks. You cannot deny him. You cannot say this is stage. You cannot say this is only uh, a, a cult. These are people who generally likes this guy and they want to see him succeed. Now, you want to see what happens when Biden goes to San Francisco? When Biden goes to a blue city? Look at these crowd. Look at what's going on over here. He's getting taunted. He's getting no support. And nobody want to deal with him. <laughs> and the best part of the rally is when former NFL player uh, Lawrence Taylor and on this Otis Anderson comes on, get on stage, and they say this. 
I grew up a Democrat, and I've always been a Democrat until I met this man right here. And I'll tell you what. He will not have to worry about nobody in my family ever vote for a Democrat again. Okay. Don't you just love that guy? Don't you just love that guy? I tell you, it has been a very exciting day. You guys, not one person left here. You're still here yelling and screaming. So my word is Wildwood, are you in the house? I, no, I can't hear you. Wildwood, are you in the house? Yeah. Wow. 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 Shout out to the Blexit movement. Shout out to Candace Owens. Shout out to Black Maga. Black Maga, stand up. Man, we're going to make history and it all is going to start off with the minority vote. The blacks, they starting to see that the Democrat Party have not done nothing for us for years. And honestly, thank you, Joe Biden, because you you uh solidify all the minorities now. We all starting to see that you have done nothing for the black community. Hispanics are now seeing that you have done nothing for the Hispanic community. And even the... J Kanye West, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people... You know, I can't say that. Yeah, even those folks, they are starting to see that you turn your back on Israel over, over Hamas folks, over the college students. You are afraid of the college students. Civilians have been killed in Gaza as a consequence of those bombs and other ways in which they go after population centers. And I made it clear that if they go into Rafah, they haven't gone into Rafah yet. If they go into Rafah, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah, to deal with the cities, to deal with that problem. We're going to continue to make sure Israel is secure in terms of Iron Dome and their ability to respond to attacks like came out of you, the, uh, in, uh, out of the Middle East recently. But it's, uh, it's, it's just wrong. We're not going to we're not going to supply the weapons and the artillery shells used that have been used. Artillery shells as well. Yeah, artillery shells. Now I see why that the Democrat Party is doing all this lawfare and try to tie Trump up in court and try to smear his name and all that. They don't want him out here campaigning because this is what you're going to see. The optics is huge. The crowds are huge. And, and Biden can't even do this. Biden can't even, Biden could bring, uh, 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 Clinton. He could bring Obama. He could bring rock stars and he can't bring wow. a, a fraction of what Donald Trump is doing by himself. Yeah. We're on to you, Mr. Biden. We're on to you. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable crowds. Let's take a look at these crowds as I ride along. Look at that. But they're good. Yeah. They're really, they're really Biden won 81 million in my ass. And I love the majority of the guys are starting to see the shots. So they don't go. And I think it's a thing for the mechanical. USA! 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 Let me pause it right here. USA! 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 All right. I got one more clip. And we're going to talk about the reporter and what he sees at a bird's eye view go this is going to show you this is what a typical trump rally i would say would look like right full you got a ton of people here that have been here like i said for hours but if we walk behind and take you through where the press is this is the Make astounding part here this is one of the largest trump rallies i've ever been to in the last uh, five years or so and you can see crowd, just guys. thousands Shout of people new uh in the Shout back out to here new york i think it's gonna be a sweep you know 
if he goes out to California and make a couple of plays in California, he might take California too. But I'm not baiting on California. You can have it. Groots and Newsome, you can have the whole state. But all the other states on the East Coast, East Coast all the way to uh, Arizona, Mexico, Washington, Oregon, and California, Biden, you can have those. But everybody else from that to the East Coast, I hope Trump put a stomping on your ass. And that's facts. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get your ass up. <laughs>